Hi, my name is Willux, and this is episode two of Sky Adventures. Today I'm going to show you two alternate ways to get a bucket that might be faster and easier than what I did in the first episode. Then we're going to move on to the transmutation table. I'm going to show you how to use that. And then I'm going to come up with a very efficient way of generating lots and lots of EMC. Maybe a little bit overpowered for that matter. And we're going to use some XNet as part of that. So let's get started. Alternate ways to get uh, a bucket. One was pointed out to me by Zachary Allen. And that is, I got some emeralds from one of those reward uh, bags. If you remember correctly, you can take the Philosopher's Stone and an emerald and get diamonds. And take diamonds and get gold. And gold and get iron. And I could have done it that easily to get my thing. Now, but not everybody is going to get um, emeralds in the reward bags. Another way to do it would be through loot bags. Talk about easy. They have buckets, they have iron, they have gold, they have emeralds, they have, or you can even get it off an ender pearl. You can use any of those to get, work your way through to a bucket. So I made the, your standard sort of uh, mob farm out here. We got any skeletons in there? No. Okay. And I've been using like a bucket. This is witch water in this barrel here. Bucket of witch water. If I do get a skeleton, wither skeleton in there, I just place it, pull it back out again. The reason I'm doing it that way is I don't have redstone yet, so I can't make a piston like I did in uh, stone block. And these are some of the things that I've got. Notice that I've already got a drop of evil. And we'll grab some of this other stuff and take it with us. That doesn't have EMC. Okay. So let's come over here. We'll drop off a few of these things so they don't clog up my inventory. And I'll just drop the loot bags in here for now. Okay. Okay, so to get a transmutation table, we're going to need some uh, obsidian. So I made a crucible off screen. I placed it over my only one lava source and started making more lava. And so we've got it there, and I put some in this stone drum, and they're easy to make. And we came to come down here, and I put a uh, this underneath the water source, and we put the lava in, and we get obsidian out. We're going to need four obsidian, so we'll have to do that twice. Oops. Oop. Okay, so that does that part of it. Uh, actually, we're not going to need buckets for now. So, transmutation table. This guy here. Pretty easy. Stone and obsidian. That's it. That's all it takes. And we're going to put that guy right there and so what is this funny looking interface here well anything you put in here it's going to remember it over in this section here and then you can it and it's going to create EMC for you for each thing you put in so let's show that part of it first this is the main function of it oh actually let's put away things that I don't want there. So now everything that I've got can go in there and be EMC'd. Notice this is going to be 30,000 EMC for the stack. So watch. Put it in there. It remembers that it got a golden carrot and gave me 30,000. Now not everything's that good. Like if we take uh, dirt, 64 of them, it's only going to be 64 EMC, but it learns dirt. We'll put all this stuff in there and it'll learn it all. And we got some EMC. Not a lot yet, but we got some. We'll do that again. Put all these things in there. And again, and put all of the stuff in there. 
So for instance, now we'll be able to grab skulls whenever we want. Like if we ever want to do anything with a skull, we just pull it out, we got a skull. Decide we don't want it anymore, put it back. Um, I wanted to do one of each of these crops. I should have kept my uh, hatchet on me. And no, you shouldn't place a uh, cactus like that. I just don't care. I was only looking to get one of each of these so I could teach them the system. So I'd have things like wheat and, uh, and cactus for cactus green. These things don't have EMC, so they can't go in there. So we'll just shut them over there. Okay, so we've only got 150, but that's going to be 150,000. That's going to be enough to get us started at least. So now we want to generate a whole lot more EMC. And part of what we're going to use is XNet to do that. So let's get our XNet together. Oops. Let's use an at sign. Oops. ET. Excellent. So we're going to want a controller. For a controller, we're going to need redstone, which we don't have yet. And we're going to need nether quartz, which we don't have yet. So let's get working on that first. To do that, let's make ourselves uh, a diamond uh, mesh. That's going to be a lot better than what we have here. So I have a flint mesh here. And I'm going to need iron first. Whoops, I can't type it all. And then we're going to need diamonds. Now, we won't be able to pull a stack at it. Well, watch what happens. Boom, all our AMC gone. So let's put at least half of those back. I'm going to use more than uh, four in this thing. So that gets us our iron stiff and mesh. And our diamond stiff and mesh. Come over here, we pull that one out. Oh, we might as well teach this to it. And we'll just get rid of that. Okay. Now we're going to need dust. And while we're in here, we're going to need one sand. Okay, so for our dust, we get over top of this guy. And this could take a sec. It, it's not a very good drop rate for uh, redstone. It's, at least it's dropping some things, and we can get more than just... Because we're using diamond, we can get more than just redstone. I think if we used iron, we could have got redstone, but only redstone. There we go. That's enough. We, we still need to do more dust off screen so that we can get uh, some other things. All right. So we're going to need sand for the next thing. Step. Okay. I come over here. This is how I got my witch water. Uh, I put a ancient spores on a dirt block, made this all into mycelium. Then we put uh, that in there in the witch water. And we've got ourselves soul sand. Come over here, teach it soul sand. We'll grab a stack of soul sand. Probably a need. Oh, usually it drops. Wow, that's bad. Soul sand usually drops it right away. There we go. We'll put those back in. Oh, I should have kept one of those. Keep one of those. And now for our controller, we're going to need torches. Should get out some redstone. For our controller, we're going to need torches. We'll grab, actually I'll grab eight because I'm going to put one in to uh, make the thingy. We want one of those. 
and we're going to want two of those. Actually, we can just uh, make another one anyways. Okay, so we're going to put that in, put that in, that in. So we need one of one of those, two of those. Oh, we're also going to need gold. Two pieces of gold. And what was that thing? Oh, lapis. I forget how many lapis I'm going to need eventually, but grab six for now. All right, so where's our controller? That. Oh, we need to make nuggets first. Machine frame, this has EMC, so we might as well do that. And the controller has EMC, so let's do that as well. Controller. Okay, next thing I'm going to want is a furnace. Oh, no, sorry, before we move on to that. Let's do the blue connector since we're here. We need another gold. I don't want to pull a stack of that. It, that's way too much EMC. Blue connectors. And we'll teach that to it. And we're going to need 14 of these. Whoops. Notice how it moved around a little bit. If there's not enough EMC in the system to make something, it uh, doesn't show it anymore. That's a, People get confused on that, by the way. Let's say that again. If there's not enough EMC in the system to make something, it no longer shows it over here, and people think that it's forgetting stuff. You just don't have enough EMC. Put more EMC in, it comes back. Nothing goes away. It's not a bug. All right. So let's take and put down our connectors. A nice little hole here. I'll expand out my base a lot now that I've got that gray concrete. I, I can make as much of it as I want with EMC. And we'll put... I think I'll put it right there. And we're going to want a furnace. Um, furnace generator. So for that, we're going to need a machine block. That does not have EMC. And we're going to want a furnace. That does have EMC, but I don't know that I care to put it in, but oh well. And then furnace generator. And we don't need to be carrying this stuff around with us anymore. All right, so the furnace generator I'm going to put right here. And I'm going to give the furnace generator coal. Oh, I, I didn't put any thought into which uh, generator I was using. I just picked something that was easy to make and did it. Uh, this is probably a temporary thing. I'll power it some other way later. All right. Next up, we want to make some of the loot things. Okay, so we're going to want a bag opener. We want one of those. We're going to want a loot recycler. We're going to want one of the. Oh, we need chess. They're cheap, so we just grab a stack. Loot recycler. We want one of those. And then bag opener. I'll make one for now. 
but all of these need to go in here. Teach it all to it. Okay, so loot. Whoops. We got back our recycler. The opener. We need... S I'm going to use seven of those. I know that uh, six isn't quite, quite enough. It's still the bottleneck. I'm wondering if seven is going to push me over the top in my test world. And then, um, what was the other one? The uh, storage. Bag storage. Oh, and let's put those on our bar. And the Ever Rain game. I remember I used to play EverQuest and we called it Ever Rain because it was always raining in that game. And that's when it first came out and everybody was playing it before it became uh, free to play. What are... What order am I doing things? I want... Oh, one other thing I want is a crate. Not that it matters, but I think I'm going to stick it here. I guess I'll stick my storage there. Storage isn't critical, but it helps for uh, uh, bottlenecks and stuff. And also, when I get if I manually get uh, higher end loot bags, I can drop them in there, and it becomes the level I want. And I can play around with other levels of loot bags later. All right, so the other thing I want, notice I've only got 13 EMC, and the next stop, I want a um, energy condenser. Energy condenser. And look, it's going to take 40,000 EMC, so I don't have enough yet. So we'll work our way up to that. In the meantime, I want to start... This is less than ideal by all means. Sand. It takes a stack of sand to give us one loot bag. So far from ideal. What we really want to use is a suggestion from, uh, who was it again? Jonas Kuhn, that ash is much better. Ash gives you, uh, two ash gives you one loot bag. And again, this is one EMC, so is Ash. Whoops. Re recycler, that's what we're looking for. So we'll let, just let it get started and make those into some. All right. And for loot bags to get us started, we've got a few here. We got a couple of epics, so that will help out. Hundred thirty one. So let's start get this set up to start. So first off, we're going to create create whoops. Nope. Item create. And we're gonna have it go from our loot bag storage. Create a excerpt. Okay. Now it's gonna be going to these. You can play around with this to try and get it on round robin or random slot. However, if you don't keep it on first, it's slower. So you're better off just letting them, you know, fill up that way and they get over quicker. And if you're producing enough bags, it won't matter that it's on first. And then we're going to go for... But for now, it is going to look like it matters because only one or two of these things, because they don't have enough bags yet, are going to be getting it. And we're going to come here, and we're going to create a second channel. And on this one, we're going to have you create an extract doesn't matter whether it's stack or not. Create you with an insert. So it'll create, when the recycler makes them, it's going to put them in there. Okay, so now which one of these guys got it? Well, this one did. For now, we'll do it manually, just for a bit. I'll show you some of this, but I'm going to probably cut away for a lot of it. 
And then we just try putting whatever we can. And see, it keeps saying learned up there as it learns new things. Now, notice there's a bunch of stuff that didn't go in. So we're going to come over to this chest and we're going to decide, okay, we want to keep those, keep those. The rest of the stuff can go to the recycle. And we'll grab a bunch more stuff. Come over here again. Teach all of those things to it. And here we want to keep that. And that's it. Oh, and that. And the rest can go to the recycler. Now this will all be automatic later, but I've got to teach the system first. So that's what we're working on. And I'm going to spend a few minutes doing this. I'll just do, I'll do another round of it. So you can see what I'm doing. And as you can see, my EMC is going up really, really quick, right? Like we're already up to uh, 400,000. But we're going to have to do this a bunch. Oh, ash. That's what I was looking for. I was hoping to get that. Okay, we may not need to cut away then if I've already got it. I thought I was going to have to cut away to find ash. It took me a while last time to find it because it's way better than sand. Speak of the devil, let's uh, teach it to the system. Emeratics, that. Iridium is, uh, I have to find the other iridium too if I want to do uh, IC, IC2 later on. Um, Recycle all of that. So let's grab ash. Actually, let's not do, okay. So if we put that in the recycle bin, it starts creating bags a lot quicker. Notice how the bags are, there's so many bags are coming in here, it can't transfer them that fast, right? But we can go on and make our next step at this point because we've got a, enough for that this guy. To make him, we're going to need one charcoal. We've got that in there. One coal, one diamond there. Another diamond there, so two diamonds. That's for the alchemical chest. And then we're going to need another four diamonds there and some obsidian said too much stuff I'm gonna forget some of it well actually I already had some diamonds in there okay and I remember I needed obsidian I'm forgetting something we're about to find out what I'm forgetting that That. That. Oh, I haven't made the this thing yet. That. Now this has EMC, so let's stick those back in. That in, and we'll pull out our chemical ch alchemical chest. Now you may have got one of these through the reward bags, so you wouldn't have to uh, do this. And then make that. We got ourselves an energy condenser. And again, that's got EMC, so we'll put it in there. And we want two of those. We'll take these, put one there, and one there. And I'm going to need, whoops, ash. and emeralds. We'll use emeralds. Could use anything we want, but uh, this has a fairly high EMC value when we uh, do this. Something better would be like a pebble compressed cobblestone or something has like 14 million instead of 147,000. Okay, and 
This one here, we are going to have it create ash. This one here is going to be creating emeralds. And then to feed this, we're going to drop in our emerald block. Oh, I should have taught the system emerald. Oh, well, doesn't matter. It's done now. We'll come over here, and I hope it's this one, uh, this one. I think it is. We'll create another item, create. And you are going to be extract, got to be stack. And you're going to be going to the recycle bin. We'll create an insert there. Now my recycle bin should be filling up with Maybe I've got the wrong chest. OK, I do. So let's try that again. We'll come down here. We'll get rid of that one. Create an extract stack. And we're getting it and filling up with these. And you get, uh, for every two ash, you get a new lo another loot bag. And so that's going to keep this guy full, and he's going to keep those full. Okay, now there's still one more uh, step to go, but I'm kind of looking for some stuff. Some very specific stuff. Before I start trashing everything. There, that was one of the things I was looking for. Let's just look quickly and see if we can find the rest of them. There's another one of them. No, there's an Ender IO capacitor. Oh, I'm going to want a gear if I don't have. Oh, I do have gears there. Okay. So let's feed these things what it can. Not that, that, okay. So we're still at this for another uh, minute or so. Okay, I'm going to cut away for, I'll do this for, let's say, five minutes. And uh, see if I can't find that. Oh, no, there it is, right there. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, so that's taken care of. Am I short? Red. Redstonia. Actually, they don't really matter because they, yeah, that's fine. They, they, these things can't be recycled, and they're they're not EMCable, so they're fine. The things I really needed was, those could be recycled, these can be recycled, these can be recycled, and oh, I'm missing the irid the other iridium. that. I need that as well. And those are the key ones. The other ones, they'll just... Oh, oh. that. I think that can be recycled too. Alright. So then we're going to put a new one of you. item create and in here we're going to create an insert and we'll put whitelist for that 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 okay then for our furnace here. Oh, and we're going to put this on a 10. Then for our furnace here, we're going to create another one. 
And that's going to be an insert. And we'll put that on a 7, just something lower than 10. And that's actually it could be higher than 10, doesn't matter. And that will shove coal in there. Then anything that can is going to go in this one here. So this one gets a insert 5. And then the final place it's going to go is here. And it's going to get an insert of 0. All right. So now we can come along and we can do extracts on each of these. Extract, stack. And anyone that I forget to put the stack on, I'll see immediately because it'll stay full all the time. Okay, and we can put these back in here. Now if we start looking at these, everything's being sucked out and dealt with, except for a few odds and ends of these things, because they can't go anywhere. They have nowhere that they can go. They can't be recycled. They can't be... Uh... All right, so let's try dealing with them. I just wanted to show you that it wasn't a fear for these in case I forgot one of them or something like the Redstonia stuff. Black Palace. I don't know why I don't have uh, Redstonia in there yet. So we come over here and on that we start putting these in. Those will all come over to this chest too. No, it doesn't seem to be picking up the blocks. I thought it would. But I'm going to run out of spots for them. Because there's going to be six there. No, I, I might have just enough. The problem is if I find something else that I want. Well, I might start skipping gears. All right, so let's deal with the blocks. There's the Restonia. And let's break down one of these into those. Okay. Because for some reason it was giving me the blocks as well in this one time before, but maybe I made some other mistake. So that goes there. And I should have put these deliberately over each of those instead of this way. And it's this block that we're missing. Now it's doing all of these things. And if we come over here, we got lots of ash in the system. We got lots of emerald blocks. So let's say we take these out. We'll put uh, one more in there. I'll take it a while to eat that up. And we can put the rest in here. And boom, we got two million that fast. So this is going to create a lot of EMC really quick. And uh, there doesn't seem to be any bottlenecks in the system right now. Well, I'm storing, I'm making more bags than I can uh, use. And so is this. This can't transfer them over quick enough. It's making them so fast. But yeah, it's still the loot bag openers that are the uh, issues. Even at seven. 
All right, so that's it for most of what I was going to show you this episode. Now, this whole system for coming up with um, EMC does seem a little overpowered. And it's an EMC loop. It's a more advanced loop than most loops, but it's still an EMC loop. Now, I don't blame Project E for this. I blame loot bags. I feel that loot bags are overpowered. I wouldn't put them in any pack ever. But since they're already in this pack, if they want to do away with this method of creating EMC, then get rid of the loot recycler. That's where the problem comes. The rest of it is fine. The uh, now they may not care. That, you know. Okay, make EMC easy to get, fine, who cares. But it might have been more interesting to have to come up with something better to get uh, EMC. Covering off a couple of other things. I'm debating whether I want to continue moving forward with this pack or not. I need a goal, I need something that I can get excited about. I, at first, I thought it was going to be chickens, but the more I've thought about chickens, the less interested I am in chickens. First off, they're not producing anything I want. Most of what they produce, I can get through EMC. Who cares? Number two, automating chickens with hatchery is a pain in the butt. I can do it, but it's going to be ugly, and it's not, it's not going to be a clean setup at all, and it's going to be laggy. And for what? To produce stuff that I can produce with EMC? Bees could be kind of interesting. They could give us a couple of interesting things. For instance, right off the top of my head, they can produce uh, wither skulls, and they can produce energy. There's the energy bee in here, so we could be getting like, uh, I forget what it was, 40,000 RF per tick from one energy bee, uh, if we work our way up to that. But there's lots of other ways to get energy. We could, now that I've got EMC, I could build a, a big reactor right away. So energy isn't critical, and there's probably better ways of getting wither skulls than getting them through bees. One thing that could be interesting, I, I was going to do this in stone block, but it would probably be easier to set up in this pack, is Woot to get Dragon's Breath. Um, I deliberately do want to get to there. And then maybe a, um, a builder to make uh, withers. And uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to get the wither skulls. In this pack, it w would be a pain to try and get um, a resurb spawner because it doesn't, have, you can't, it doesn't have the exploding chickens in this pack. So you need a spawner changer one of these and to get that you've got to first off break four spawners and then one for your research spawner so you got to five five spawners I guess in the nether and that's a pain in the butt the other way would be uh, something like the ender IO spawner that might be a little bit easier those things draw a lot of power but I guess we don't really care about power but anyways so I could go that route, but what I don't want to do is just be ticking off quests because I don't think that makes for a very interesting one. There's a couple of things I could tick off right now. Uh, builder. So we got our egg. It's going to eat that egg that I've got there. And then for the builder is there. It's not going to eat the builder, not that I care. It's just EMC. Those are just a couple of quests that I thought I could take off right away. Upgrading your grid. Crafting grid for refined storage. OK. Whoops, put it in there. Now we got a clay chicken now. But you let me know. 
is there something in particular you want to see me do in this pack? Any of you that have advanced further than I have in this pack, where are you having trouble with? What do you not understand how to do? Where can I be useful? Ticking off quests is not what this channel is about. Building um, advanced automation and overcoming bottlenecks, that's what I'm all about. So let me know in the comments. That's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Go out there and have some fun. Thanks.